Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you the third video tutorial of uh, Angular with ASP.NET Core and in this video tutorial I am going to recheck uh, the models which, we, uh, which was created in the earlier video so uh, and also the mapping between the models okay so the product have ID name details and uh, unit price unit in stock and the product image path and a product have multiple picture you know that a product have multiple pictures so one to many mapping between the product and the pictures so in the picture we have a ID and the file name but the navigation product is also there uh, in the earlier video that is the product that is the false uh, information because the pictures have not multiple products you can say that uh, okay so this is the wrong uh, at here so just remove from the code and uh, in the letter uh, in the letter video I will uh, remove okay so uh, additional thing you can add in the product between the picture that is the product ID in the pictures table so you can add it so here we have a one one to many mapping okay so there that is there is a code okay so after that you can check uh, here is the table that is the product and the dependable property is cart id category id and the order line id so picture we have a uh, product id is the dependable property you can say okay so a product have order line so a product have multiple order line you can say uh, product can enter into the multiple order lines so id quantity order line we have uh, these are the uh, features and a product have multiple cart items and the cart item have id quantity unit price and the price okay so a product have uh, inside in the multiple cart items and a product have multiple order line also so order line table have a order id as well as the product id so you can check it that is also uh, cart item also hold the product id because a product have multiple cart items okay so you uh, understand the mapping between the product and the cart item uh, as well as uh, you understand i think you understand uh, the mapping between the product and the uh, order line okay so a customer also have a cart item a customer have also a multiple cart items you can say okay so uh, a customer have multiple order also so customer id and the order line id is there in the order tables as a dependable property okay a order have multiple order line so uh, order line table have a order id as well as the product id as a dependable property so understand uh, where the uh, asterisk sign table we have a dependable property okay So in the picture table you can see the dependable property is the um, product ID. So where uh, you got uh, asterisk sign then you can say uh, uh, that table will hold uh, dependable property of, uh, of respective table. So product is there. So product uh, is the order line ID. It is the false I think. Okay so uh, just remove from the code also. Cart ID is also removed. Category ID is also no a category id you can say that a category have multiple products so category id is dependable property of product table so cart id is not uh, actually mapping between the cart and the product so just remove from the code but you notice that the category have multiple products so uh, product table have a dependable property that is category id Okay. and also the subcategory ID a category have multiple subcategories so subcategories table have a category ID that is the dependable property okay I think you uh, you have uh, I think you understand very well uh, between the mapping uh, between the models mapping between the models oh, sorry and the doubts is uh, a picture table have a product so just removed from the and also the comment you can say and the doubt is a product table have a cart id so just removed and the doubt th third is a product dot order line id there is the only relation between the product and the order line id so just removed from the section so just come into the code part and uh, just comment that section a product have multiple pictures you know that is the correct form okay but the picture id is also there in, in the same table that is not uh, valuable so just uh, comment it 
ओके द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज ए पिक्चर हैव मल्टीपल प्रोडक्ट्स दैट इज नॉट ए एक्चुअल थिंग बट द पिक्चर हैव ए प्रोडक्ट आई डी इज ऑल्सो देयर सो जस्ट मैंशन डिट प्रोडक्ट आई डी ओके ऑल्सो मैंशन विद द प्रोडक्ट रेफरेंस so that is the uh, pretty cool between the product and the pictures table so, uh, and the notice that the cart id is also there in the product table so there is a no relationship between the cart and the product so just comment uh, again that that section and order line id is also uh, commented so cart id first of all commented and uh, order line id is also comment and the in future we have notice uh, if 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 you want to add it these properties so just uh, recheck again okay and the next thing you have to add it that is the data context uh, in the tables so data uh, context is the folder name or you can say the di directory name and okay no uh, data is sufficient okay now add a new uh, class in the data uh, directory that is the application db context and you know that the application db context uh, inherited fr uh, from the um, db context class and that db context uh, you have to add by using entity framework core so install first of all entity framework core package into your project browse it install entity framework core microsoft dot entity framework core and the stable version is uh, 5.0.9 okay and uh, also add a constructor and initialize the uh, db context options where you can initialize your application db context so make a constructor at here and uh, as a parameter you can use db context options yeah is there by in the in intelligence and in which you can pass the application db context just copy the class name and paste in the angular brackets okay here you can pa here you can add a variable that is the name options and that class will call uh, base class that the uh, and also pass in the as a constructor as a parameter now add all these uh, all these models uh, and uh, try to make a tables so just add all these models uh, instead of cart because a cart uh, have a multiple cart items you know so there is a no need to add as a table so cart item first of all cart items similarly you can add all these uh, files all these uh, classes uh, or you can say all these models as a property in the context class so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to angular asp.net core and please don't forget please subscribe my channel i will provide you better video tutorial of angular and asp.net core and better learning platforms uh, related to xamarin's and uh, many more technologies which is related to dot net uh, c sharp you can say so uh, don't forget please subscribe my channel and share this video on your instagram as well as uh, facebook as well as uh, whatsapp where uh, you want to learn your youngers and elders so please share this video on your facebook account so uh, there is the basic things and uh, by using this project you can learn angular how to use angular in asp.net core and how to make a project because a project uh, contain lots of things about the angular and uh, lots of things about the um, mvc patterns and lots of things about your uh, asp.net cores pipelining and the logics and also you can say that that project is built in in your uh, Uh, currently uh, version uh, or you can say a 4.7 framework asp.net core so uh, 
थैंक यू गाइज फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो कीप वॉचिंग कीप वॉचिंग कीप वॉचिंग थैंक यू वेरी मच